Hi, Broken Arrow. I'm City Manager Michael Spurgeon. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Broken Arrow in Motion. This is a special edition of Broken Arrow in Motion as we continue our transparency series to, for uh, folks to learn more about what's going on in the various departments uh, within the City of Broken Arrow organization. To help me do so, joining me today is Development Services Director Michael Skates. Michael, how you doing? I'm doing well today, thank you. You're a pretty busy guy right now, aren't you? I am very busy. Uh, lots happening in the city and it just seems like a lot, it all starts in your office. So it, it's pretty it, busy. That is true. We have a lot of development going on and it, it does start in my department, but uh, you know, we work closely with all the other departments to make sure everybody's on the same page with what's happening within the city so that uh, you know, continued growth can be sustained within the city. You know, the mayor and council and I think it's very important that the residents and businesses in Broken Arrow know more about the various departments that, that serve them. And development services is a key department within our, within our organization, especially in a community that is growing and continues to grow. Um, Michael's information about development services is going to be in the November edition of our Focus newsletter, which comes in our utility bills, as well as you can see uh, the information about development services if you come to our website. So we're going to ask Michael a few questions about development services uh, so that folks can learn more about, about his department. Let's start off with, tell us a little bit about development service, Mike. How many divisions are there within your department? Okay, uh, we have four divisions in our department. We have one stop, which handles all the incoming and outgoing permits, licenses, and general phone calls related to inspections and, and the department. We have a planning division, which handles uh, all aspects of development related to planning. And then we have an inspection division, which handles all the inspections for residential and commercial uh, development. And then we have a special projects division that handles special projects that help guide and help uh, steer the city for the future. You know, um there's a lot of development happening uh, throughout our community. If you had to put a number, approximately how many housing, new housing starts or homes subdivisions have been approved uh, to give the folks an idea of what, how many additional new homes we could have in our community over the next three to five years? Over the next three to five years, I, I would anticipate seeing around 2,000 new homes. Uh, right now, we're averaging right at about 500 homes a year, and those are new homes. We have about 28 different subdivisions that uh, are in uh, discussion or design, review, or construction going on throughout the city. I know you're busy. We, uh, we get updates pretty much on a weekly basis, and it's, it's exciting to hear it all is. the work that's going on in development services. You know, in a growing community, uh, there are always challenges. If you had to pick out a challenge or two within your department uh, that is important, what would one, those one or two challenges be? Well, I think the first challenge is, is just time. You know, both internally and externally on projects, it, it comes down to timing. Uh, a lot of development requires certain processes to take place. Uh, within the city, certain processes, they take time, take anywhere from 60 to 90 days to change comprehensive plan or rezone uh, or to plat. Uh, it takes time to review site plans or engineering plans or building plans. So I think that would be the first thing that I would point out is just, just time. But, you know, we're fortunate to have uh, quite a few tools uh, within our tool belt that allow us uh, ways to, to uh, lean out that process that, that help various developments uh, shave off some of that time by overlapping certain processes. Um, you know, outside of that, I think, just just finding time to to how we can help the general citizen um, you know it, it's it's sometimes challenging because we face certain aspects related to the ordinance and you know we have to find creative ways to to help people with uh, various projects that they may be doing around their home or business or you know new development altogether and and you know getting creative with the various processes and or uh, techniques that are available to us, you know, allow us to, to, to handle those challenges. You know, I've got two more questions for you. The first one is, if you had to pick one thing out that you would want the Broken Arrow citizens or business to know with regard to your department that's important to you in terms of 
transparency and, and communications, what would that be, Michael? Well, I think first is that we're here to help. We're here to, uh, myself and my staff are geared toward uh, service and, and finding ways to help business, uh, retention, business development, as well as working with general citizens on special projects they may have around the house or their business. A lot of folks sometimes don't realize what permit they may need for just a simple project around the house and my, my staff are available to answer questions and give them guidance of, of whether a permit would be required or not required. So I think that's what I'd like people to know is, you know, our, our department's on the forefront of, of development. Uh, we do meet with movers and shakers, you know, who are looking to develop and create sales tax and property tax in the city, but it's also about the general citizen. And I want to make sure that uh, general citizens know that they can reach out to us for for information. Well, th I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that, Michael, because a lot of times most folks don't utilize development services uh, that often in, in the uh, time that they live in a community, and so we want to make it a good experience. And Definitely. I'm glad that you mentioned that when people come down to City Hall for development services or any other uh, department that they need assistance from, we try to make sure that they get good customer service and they felt like they walked away with the answers they were looking for uh, when they contact us, so I appreciate that. You know, you said you created a special projects division uh, within the last couple of years. What are the two or three things that are being worked on by, by special projects division right now that are pertinent to what's going on in our community? Well, we have uh, three important projects. The first is our comprehensive plan. Our comprehensive plan is a plan that, that oversees the entire city for development and is a guide of development areas uh, related to not only development but parks, fire, police, streets. So it encompasses uh, lots of different departments and different development techniques of how we want the city to develop over the next 20 years. And so we're about 60 percent complete with that project, looking to have a new comprehensive plan sometime early next year and it'll look at new techniques, you know, like health and transportation and, and other aspects that, that we feel like are going to be important over the next 20 years. Another important project we're doing is a revitalization of mm -hmm. a intersection and commercial area at Elm and New Orleans, which is uh, 161st and 101st. And that's an exciting project because we're working with various property owners and working with utility companies and within uh, the city departments on how we can, can revitalize that intersection to keep it vibrant, to keep it uh, growing and, and make it another vital no node uh, mm -hmm. for development within the city. And then another exciting project that uh, we have going on is an innovation district. And the innovation district is, is something new uh, for Oklahoma. It's, it's uh, new for Broken Arrow, but uh, being a leader in development and, and growth, uh, we've seen this happen around the country, and we feel like having an innovation district where the city can partner with the schools and business uh, leaders within the community to create a, a district that, that promotes new technology, new growth, and new ideas. And so we're working on that and working on some locations that it could be located and we hope to have you know something to be able to bring to the public probably in the next couple years. Well they're all very exciting uh, having been a part or being a, been a part of each one of those every single day it is very exciting you know sometimes I like to say is that you know we try to lean forward in terms of how we serve our citizens but we're also very we're looking forward down the road because down the road is going to be here sooner than than we think and I think it's our responsibility to try to create a, a good business environment that promotes private investment and that private investment uh, it creates the jobs, it creates the revenues needed to be able to pay for uh, city services uh, that we provide to our community so we remain a quality community. Michael, we're just about out of time uh, for this segment. Anything you'd like to add before we go? I really don't have anything additional to add. I just appreciate the time to get to share a little bit about development services with uh, the community and hope that uh, any folks out there that have questions or concerns related to any type of uh, project they're wanting to do or development would give us a call. 
Absolutely. Michael and his team do a great job for our city. We're very appreciative of all, all that you do for Broken Arrow. Uh, that's about all the time we have for this edition of Broken Arrow in Motion Take 5. Once again, Development Services will be the featured department in the November Focus Newsletter. Uh, we hope you'll uh, take the time to take a look at it or to read it on our website. Uh, that's it for this edition of Broken Arrow in Motion. Until next time, take care and I hope to get to see you around town.